So as soon as you start the game, it tells you to enter the current time, which I did, and then it was like, thank you so much for doing that. Next time, you can just put in whatever time you like. So I, you know what I gotta do. But I just gotta say, like, I really like that detail. Immediately, you know, it feels like I'm not playing the game, but the game is playing me. Let's see, confirm. Yeah, 6, 9, your favorite time of the day. There we go. Or could you simply not resist giving me the... No, no, no! Is the... I mean, actually, it is... Actually, it's, it's almost correct. I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Oh, another slider? It's it's not 6 a.m. Uh, it is like it's it's 6 p.m. Uh, so it's kind of accurate, but, but but I'm gonna go like a little less accurate because it's like the inverse. You know, I can I just say was accuracy having okay, <laughs> please. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. Yeah, uh, collecting my private data. I see how it is. More sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders. New sliders. Wait, is this just... Oh no, dude, I'm not gonna be able to play the game. Please adjust the slider. Wait, I've already done that. that. Wait, does that even does that even change anything? Barely visible. It's like... I, I never know how this works. Should it be like, like literally a pixel? Or should it be like still... Like you can see the entire computer in detail. I, I never know. I'm just gonna go a little higher. Because, you know, it also maybe makes the video better if it's brighter. Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. Okay, dude. Oh no, they're gonna smooch. Eee? Oh no, it's a little... But it's not friends, you know? This is friends. This is more... I mean, this is good friends. This is this is, this is is either best friends or I don't know. A Disney movie. Please adjust the slider until the number five. Okay, dude. Is it a six? Oh! oh. What if you don't, though? It's a godom. You know what? This game, like I said, it plays you, you don't play it, but nah, I'm gonna play you, nine. It's not a number though, but that's kinda like, it's kinda smart, but I wanna go with the Gotham, man. Oh, please adjust until you're okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Look, look, like, I don't know, like, full, full on, okay, full power, my friend. Which of the two made up words is most appealing? Ocu boinkle? I mean, boink is pretty good, man. Scrumptish? Uh, I mean, I mean that, that that's kind of cool, but look you can't go wrong with boink Is that is that how you do it? What if I go middle? It doesn't matter man. I'm, I'm oh, oh my god, please don't adjust the slider. Yes Do you know what time it is right now? Yes <laughs> I, It de depends on is the time that it is right now the correct time it depends on where you live my dude. Oh, no. I Mean oh yes, what is time anyway? What if you know? Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Dude, I could, you know? Do you have five hours? Help. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you, you're you stuck here with me. Will you come back to visit me? Sure. Because I have nothing else to do. What time is it? It's Stanley time, man. <gasps> Click right. Does anyone really, truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. I mean, time is a construct. My friend, I kinda. <laughs> you, n you and I don't even know each other, we're like strangers. I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. Now the job is over. You lost your existence. Yeah. But you still don't know me, and I don't know you. And neither of us know what time it is. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, yes, the clock doesn't do anything. Oh my god. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. <laughs> oh, and that, oh, you like being alone, don't you? Dude, don't worry, we're gonna just wait 10 years, then we're gonna have the Stanley Parable co-op. Dude, that would be, holy crap, I don't even know what that would be. That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. It's time for me to leave. Goodbye. Forever. Oh, there is still one more setting. It may take a little time before I'm ready. It's not in my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon.
But okay, now, what's up guys, and welcome to the Stanley Parable, the Ultra Deluxe Edition, which is like a redesign, sequel, remake, I don't even know, of the original game. And I do have to say, like, first impression is already positive, I do like the little, you know, like I said, game plays you, you don't play the game, but we're gonna begin the game, we're gonna go right back into it. And we're gonna see how it is. The end is never the end. Loading. <laughs> the end is loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Yes. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Amazing. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 mm -hmm. and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Literally me. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And his little cube. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Oh boy. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Ah, dude, right, right, right. Man, this is so cool. I do like how it immediately puts you into the gameplay you don't even realize. So, how does this work? We can, we can crouch. Can we go here? Can we go here? Oh. The little, little mouse clicks are like... Duh, 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 duh. You can type. Okay, we're, ju we're just gonna do it. All of his co-workers were gone. Mm -hmm. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's been such a long time. I don't even really remember. So we're, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead, and and, and try to uh, reaccustom myself here. Look at the. Oh. All right. Wait a minute. This I remember. This this was also. You can like turn. Can you turn on? Hmm. None of these doors work though. There's a little little little, little hallway. What is this? 4B, 6. It's a, look at that step ladder or something, or just a normal ladder. We're going, man. Can we sprint? Can we do anything? <laughs> we can't jump. When Here Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You know what? Oh, no going back. No hiding. You know what? Can I close the door? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to you. I'm gonna be a nice Stanley this time. We're just we're just going along with the game. Yet the there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, I hoping he might find an answer there. Is this let it ball up inside you? Resent coworkers, take it out passive aggressively. Perfect. <laughs> great, great. Alright, I wanted to jump on the table. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look, <laughs> look, oh dude, it's already creepy, man. I don't, uh, I don't know why. Why does this? Why is this creepy to me? Just this? Like, if, if you told me this is a screenshot of a horror game, I would believe you. But um, yeah, <sighs> you know we we gotta do it. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Can I close the door? Oh yeah, come on. Do is a wrench? Can we play here? At anything? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Yes, man. No reason to still be here. We gotta do it. But I, what I gotta try though as well. Okay, I don't think it matters if you go it back was and forth. baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Oh, no. He wasn't even doing anything. 
bathroom. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Look, narrator. By, by just talking, you're giving me the interaction that I need, you know? You, you, gotta, you gotta do are some you, are you reflection. Are really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I like it here, man. It's my new home. You got everything that you you need. Like, look, this is probably a toilet. You do realize I, I there's know. no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. We gotta do it, man. We gotta stay here for the whole thing. Is is like it's the one meme. Maybe He's the to one you, and only. This is somehow its own branching path. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll oh, no. say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? Mm -hmm. The broom closet ending was my favorite." Mm -hmm. I hope your friends find this concerning. Dude, look, you created the meme, my my friend. I'm sorry. You you can't undo what you have done. Stanley was fat and ugly <laughs> and really really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he Come is. On, man. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. No, 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 no. Stanley, you gotta... We gotta re... Oh, well, no. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. I'm moving, dude. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Yes, please. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. Oh they have God, fallen man. prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. The allergies It's indicative right now. of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Except right. when you've done oh. that, just step out into the hallway. Except that he doesn't even have a jump button, my friend. Man, that's not basic first person at all. How do you not have a jump button? I do remember I left the first time I played this game. I, I don't think it actually. Wait, it, I, I'm a little afraid I want to ruin it. What if you escape? Game is now paused. I'm still searching for the intro narrator as well. Okay. Ah. Second player, yes, it's good to have you on board. What I guarantee <laughs> I don't know. you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. True, true, true. You know, you know how it works, though. You too. Yeah. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Man, he sounds so defeated. It's actually kind of sad. I'm sorry. Like, I, 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 oh, man. Oh, although you were mean to Stanley, so maybe you deserve it at this point, but okay. Can we? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, sure. We're gonna walk upstairs. Jump out the window, no. Not the office. Yeah, I mean, that's the office. Yeah, yeah, I remember, man. This is fancy. Was this the bathroom? We gotta go? No? Extreme bathrooms? What? To be rich, is it a crime? To make crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Very cool. Close the door behind you. <sighs> Dude, just don't, don't do that. I remember the computers. There was some sort of secret, right? That's the office. This is nothingness. This is nothingness. Man, it's bright outside. Holy crap. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Mm -hmm. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Ooh. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth 
that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Mm-hmm. What have you... No? Stanley no. just sat around no, twiddling no, no. his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Okay, 2845, but first... Is this anything? I don't think so. We're just gonna do it. 2845. Yes, man. You're so... Dude, a little patient. Incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, the Stanley heck? happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Will you look at this, man? The tie here. Okay, now we're in the... Now we're in the... In the depths... Of the whole facility, yeah? Yo, it's dark. Maybe I should have made the <laughs> brightness a little, or should it be this dark? Probably. Oh! Ah, crap. Let's go. St <gasps> what? Oh, it's a lot. Holy crap, man. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. A little queasy. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Independence, Why man. did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. What if you go up, though? No. I'm so sorry. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never <laughs> mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Yeah, get your story Why right, did narrator. did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Oh, well, look, now... But it's loading again. Now, I gotta go along with it, because the narrator makes the mistake and, you know, turns it into part of the story. So now we gotta go back to the office, because it is officially part of the story. Here we are, Stanley. It's yep. your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. Is it? What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story Very in new so. and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry okay, of uncompromising man. narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bullshit to the edge of my seat. I'm just having fun. What was it? Two, eight, four, five? Two, two, eight, two, eight, five. I don't even know, man. Oh my god, I'm out of here. Okay. You, you want me to go again? I'm, I'm, I apologize. Incredible. Yeah. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Are you mad, ladies and gentlemen? How does he keep coming up with all of this? Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? I mean, look. You forced my hand. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? Mm. No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even <laughs> begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. Dude, this is gonna be the this is gonna be like the, the time wasting playthrough or like ending. The broom closet. We got the elevator ride. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have. Are we gonna have? Uh, and I don't even know if I did that the first time I was here. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! It's the boss's office. Oh damn! <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. No. Oh! Please hold. Wait, this is new. Is this new? I don't remember this. It was a long time ago. Stop, please. Who is this man? I know these things. I've never had one of these. Do they actually work like that? I mean, it's crazy. How does it work, though? Okay, oh. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm prepared okay. to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward it's with... Door, no! Man. No, oh. wait! No! I need more time no, to No, no, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, no. Man, look at this technology. Does it 
drink? Or is it just supposed to look like it's drinking? Probably just supposed to look like, otherwise you lose money because you lose your drink and that, that I don't even know. I like the top hat though. Are oh, you the music? Alright. I have fully come to terms with it. What up? I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before... Ooh. I turn to your... Oh, that's okay. That's kind of rude. I Expert just want to eye test. for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. I wonder, like, what, what do you do? You react if I, I, I ah, man, my memory was it? Wasn't it two eight? Hmm. You don't like me doing that. We can't get any secret files or anything. What is this? Just a sofa, or something? I don't see anything. Okay. Narrator, I'm ready to go <gasps> for real this time. For of real. course. Yeah. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. True, man. I World no first. frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. We're going. <gasps> Again? Okay, we're going this time, okay? We're going. We Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Hmm. We've already kind of messed up this story. But you know what? We're gonna keep going with it. Ooh. Hello. We're just gonna... Can we die? <laughs> no, okay. Here? No, no. Actually, yo, look, this is actually so dangerous. Who, who? Hmm. hmm. Very suspicious. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Is this? I don't even remember if this is the one. Can't do anything here. I remember there was a secret somewhere here. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Yo. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where's me? Oh, what was up with the blue one? Where's me? Fired? I don't even remember our name. Two something. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Cough, cough. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? There was like a way. Where you can go back. I think. No. Oh no! <laughs> he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? What the hell? Wait, did it. Wait, no, it. Wait, it is. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy Offline. or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Mm -hmm. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Mind controls idle awaiting input. Dude. What the hell? Wait, what? Mind control? Okay, that's just programming. Off on. I don't remember. But isn't it 
Just okay, so it's just if we're waiting input, so it's in, in limbo right now. We're gonna on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the oh, machine for yourself. Yeah. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. You already did like a hundred times. you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated yes. the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, eliminating the entire complex. A little overkill, but okay. Until detonation, then, mm, let's say um, two minutes. Two minutes. Ah, now this is hell a yeah, dude. I'm using it, Stanley. It's so this is the coolest ending right here. This is the coolest. This is the coolest path. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. I what just a shame we have so little time left to enjoy die. it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know Crap. where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? No, that's okay. I'm just enjoying the A music. moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die oh, anyway. Jump. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely <laughs> in so this sad. instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this version of the events nice has one. been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Mm -hmm. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra oh. time on the clock. Why not? Thank you. These are precious additional seconds. Oh, seriously? Time I don't have on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? I'm enjoying my life, Is man. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you Doesn't saw that work. Time I think nothing works. Maybe, uh, but I don't know. Maybe capable change of it. turning it off. I mean, look at you, running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored <laughs> ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video oh, game can be beaten, one guitar. solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Are you crazy? You're oh. in for quite a disappointment. Ooh. Wait, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. It doesn't even make sense, to man. see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. Goodbye, so employee, can't. no. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Okay. 30 seconds what is until a big boom Not just the button. Nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to I'm, me. I'm, all a part oh. of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Oof. We dead? We good? I don't even remember. Game over? Game restart? Game restart. Okay. Dude, I, I, I'm actually... This doesn't work. I'm kind of happy that I got this one. This was, it was, is it probably the coolest ending? I'm gonna be honest. Wait. Oh, we can do that. 
Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, could it yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the yeah, story yeah, yeah, yeah. as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. I apologize, my that friend. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New ah. Age music. All right, we're not gonna have the little bird this time. We're gonna have the. It's actually really nice. Wait, is this actually another thing? Is this a speedrun? <laughs> Feeling like, soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley troll? calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. There we go. What I want to try is what if you just go for the exact same ending twice in a row? I don't know if that... if it works. I barely know where to start. Hmm. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I, I erased, erased them. them. Whoa, I I'm sorry. Okay, but now, you know what? I'm leaving. I, I won't let you finish your story, but now. Anything here? Begin the game. There's no save? Oh, good to know, actually. So you can't click to This is the story. Get out of here. <laughs> this is the story. And we are here. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley mm. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Employee lo lounge, we're gonna do that. Suspicious, always check. Yo, man. Man, it's... Just something like this just makes you want to explore. And it's so frustrating when you can't. That's a nice picture, though. Is that a lounge? <sighs> Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the okay. detour after all. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. One second though. Where we go here? Dude, I don't This is this is like the playthrough where you just Stanley don't was so care. bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Do not jump, we can't jump, don't worry. But in his I'm eagerness so to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Rip. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thanks. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. This is the rebel enemy. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. True. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Ah. Please, yeah. stop trying to... What? Really? Mm -hmm. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen I to you? I gotta be a rebel, what? man. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. What's the chance? Is this... Hmm... No bucket past this point. I'm sorry. All right. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. May I apologize, but I already said I'm rebel. Rebel. Uh -huh. Perhaps mm -hmm. you misunderstood. No. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating oh. properly. Ah. Stanley walked through... All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Yes. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, All right. exposed <laughs> developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. 
Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Mm? Skill trees? Mm. Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing a so far. A jump button to start, <laughs> maybe? Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some... Oh, feedback. dude, is this thing? There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. I mean, you know I want to go here, but I really want to go here. Okay, Ooh. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would no. you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I'm going to give you the number one, because you're the number one. Oh, one? I mean, oh. I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. Oh, really? And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley... Yeah, dude. Gimme, gimme. A lot, lot, lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff happening. Good old Neil Skid. Holy crap, man. Holy... 21 of players skip the intro sequence. <gasps> I'm more attractive than Stanley. This is you? Okay, okay, man. Oh, look. Ah, wait. I also remember kind of... But what if you go here? I don't even know. What if you just go crazy? Ah, wait. Now, would you say that competitive oh. leaderboard you don't have helps a choice. you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I'm gonna go with the most annoying answer. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype oh. of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely yes, opportunity please. to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at yeah, it, would yeah, you? Yeah, 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 Perfect. Fine. Let me boot it up. In this game, no, it's not fun. Left towards it's not fun. <laughs> you click know. the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful yeah. game. All about the desperation oh, and man, tedium so... of endless. Are you are you higher quality? The man? You look, you're like life. a you're like an I actual think the baby. art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's Ooh. effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Ah, uh, dude, man. Look. Sayonara, baby. I, I apologize. Goodbye. You heartless bastard. <laughs> not, Did you do it because you hate babies not, or not again, purely not to spite again. me? Look, it's still alive, dude. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm completely He's dancing. out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, Let's see. I, I want to play. We're what going... What do we have here? I remember mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Please. Give me the good stuff. Aha! Um, what do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our Wyoming? motivation? Wait, what? Mm. Help? But it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, I can't Stanley, spy, man. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture oh, outward can't. and see what else is out there. Yeah, thank you. Ooh. Can't take anything. What is that? Space puffs? With the music? The single beat? Or was that maybe the ending? Wait, this is new, right? I remember like like we had I think portal or something. Oh my god, really? I can't even I can't even do it. Oh my god, I can't even sprint. Yo, I like the Yo look at all the wind effects for the trees. This is next gen. 
Narrator, please. What the hell is... Oh my god, I saw something? Or was that... I'm um, getting paranoid. I think it was just a leak. No, 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 it can't be. What? What up? Can I leave? It is. It's an open world game. Oh. Good God, quickly block it off. No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Thank goodness, Stanley. What a oh, close call. Come on, man. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing. That big open, just wandering around. No right or wrong direction. No path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. Well, Look, I can see you right there, Stanley. man. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. No, Let's dude. find another game. Stop. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Bro. Wonderful. <laughs> See, this is exactly what I <laughs> had in mind. Just... just a nice big box for you to run oh, around yeah, in. Man. There isn't well, speaking any possibility of vehicles before... that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Yeah. What the hell? Man, look at the... You I like the grass. Oh, you're the girl okay, wind. So what Holy exactly crap. do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Well, where's it? Where, 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 where? I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so fast. Are you crazy? Oh, my God. I can't, I guess you can jump, though. Bro, this is an actual game now. We got gameplay. Yo, let's do a header. <laughs> Holy crap. No. Wait, am I orange? I don't even know. Boom. Are you doing it? Yeah. Are you winning? Is this yeah. fun? Is it better than my miserable <gasps> little... Oh. Hold on. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Beta, dude. Wait, is Stanley, this... Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is this the same? I think... I think the game's changed, but th this is... I, I do remember... What is this? Work in progress? <sighs> I'm dead. No, I'm not. Do is the... It's the back rooms, man. <laughs> it's actually a little creepy. Oh, we're here. It really does make you kind of think how different the how different the game is without narration. Like this is oh my god, this is straight up a horror game if you remove the the, the entire narration. Hey yo. I don't remember this at all, man. What's happening here? Anything? No? Is it just... Hmm... I don't even... <gasps> what? I'm sorry. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Man, he's gonna starve. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no... The villain. <laughs> what the heck? Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Can I? Oh, I can still do that? No, 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 no. Oh, we are actually long. Wait, I don't... Are, are we? Yeah, oh my god, that was the ending. And now we're here again. I want... Man, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> so All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Can I get out? I want to go here, new content. Okay, I wanted to go for like the main ending, but maybe not. I'd... Suspicious. Ooh, very suspicious. Ooh, do it's like a little. Hello, huh? and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Ah, oh, crap. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Incredible. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game Ooh. for consoles and home Yo. computers. Yo! Thumbnail? <laughs> I don't know. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world Yay. over. More happy. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, I'm scared, man. I don't oh, well, trust this you. sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Yo, your voice didn't change at all, huh? <laughs> oh, that's... I don't know, is that impressive? Be getting the exact same... Ooh, or is that tone and everything right? Hmm... Okay, okay... Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Can, can we help? Oh no. Um... Is yeah. it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. Alright, finally, at long last, it's on time, to the man. new is, content. Yeah. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Not enough budget on the on the, on the the elevator, I see. Also looking a little, mm. you know, scuffed here. Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if... Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. The real one. I mean, you know what I gotta do. Does this work? Come on. I, ju I just did it. Y please. No? Okay, so already, you gotta always compare it, right? Less options than the original. You, we gotta criticize every single detail here. Graphics. Not, not, not too, not too. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. What is this? The jump circle. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. Really? Wait. Bro, I don't I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. Can I just ignore it? I don't trust. Holy crap, dude. Bro, he's actually is a it's a platformer. Okay, 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 okay. You know we got to do it. What is the sound effect? Man, you are wearing some tight pants, or I don't know, maybe two wide pants to make that that kind of noise every time. Oh. What is that? What is that zero? Look, look, this is like beautiful, man. This is like this just makes me happy. Holy crap! Look at this. It makes me dizzy, man. What is this? This you can do. This is not even a. F oh my god! As a lowest quality zero. What is this? Hello? No. Okay. Amazing, man. What is it? It's not even connected. <laughs> is... Oh! Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. 
I want to go back in elevator, man. Come on, man. That's the only reason why I'm playing. The doors? Hmm, okay. No more, no more doors locking behind you. What is that? Oh. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please true. ignore. It does, very what true. quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. <gasps> it could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. Bro, you. What do you say, friend? Bro, you. Bro, you said I. Bro, you do. You don't even. You said I was addicted to hookers and. <laughs> what drugs? Come on, man. Oh wait, what? What the hell? Oh, I didn't even realize. Holy crap! It actually scared me a little bit. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Ooh, wait a minute. Hello. It's the it's the original game. Ah, crap, man. We're going down the rabbit hole. Psst. Stanley, what? come over here. In the vent. I can't do I want that, to show man. you something. I can't be sus. Are you crazy? Look, it's going too far. Wanting my money to play this is one thing. But you can't make me sus. I'm sorry. We can't vent. Okay, fine. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh, coffee nut, bro. I'm not even gonna. Ooh. Hello. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be? Well, mm -hmm. it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here, where the game's developers won't find it. What the? Just hell? our little secret. Take a look. Bro, is... I know, is, is, is this... Is this Elden Ring? I call it oh. the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories oh, so I can relive the peak experiences of my oh, life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Right there. Ooh! A baby? No, <laughs> probably a picnic basket. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was oh, okay. before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Not really. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Yo. What, buy on Steam? Oh, what? Is that real? I don't know. What, 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 is, the, what is the date? Is there a, What the hell? Some ads right there. Buy on Steam or download the demo for free. What everyone... The end is never... Okay, okay. Good times and here we have it. Let's begin again. It's a little creepy. A trip down memory lane. Yo, gimme, gimme! No? Soundtrack smile because it happened. Demonstration. Unachievable? I kind of remember that. Go, yeah, I, I definitely, this is a uh, crime. <laughs> I definitely remember that. Nominee? Nominee. Nominee. Oof. New video game releasing? Creator surprise? Okay, okay, okay. Deals, tough choices? Okay, lost a sure. Sure, my friend. Woo! Little stuff. Oh, little Stanley. Oh, no. Oh, man. Rest in peace, little Stanley. Oh, can we? No. 
of course not. Come on, man. You don't have to block it off with the bench. Yo, look at that. Hell. Another here oh, is where man. I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Look at like the, the stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. But it has the graphics. Man, this is nice. This is actually kind of nice. Yo, even these are animated? This is nice. I gotta be honest. I, li I like shiny stuff. Shiny rocks, though. You can even... It's a little squishy. What the hell is wrong with that rock? I like that. Okay, can we go back? Come on, man. I just want to go back one more time. It's... Oh, no. Original? Are we breaking out? What's this? Memory me Ah, a little okay, you got me. That is the same? Probably? That was yeah, yeah, I remember. That was this. Person of the year. Yo, is this some yo, what is this program? I don't even know. May so old, holy crap. That's the two doors? Hello? Hello? Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted ah, right with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone, to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Stanley Parable feels alive in his responsiveness to your choices and his desire to subvert your expectations and keep you on your toes. That is true. Is that, is that real? The ba- yeah, but that- okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. The bad is conveniently left out. Um, help? Uh, help? Yo, that's the- No, your number is, that's not the timer. Uh, help? Oh, right there, I'm sorry, I apologize. <sighs> what? These were simpler times, Stanley. Don't jump scare me. Wait. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Oh, those aren't stairs, I thought that was- there were stairs. Just go- just- there's a nice little car. Ooh, really? Is it now is it now finished? Did you need Wait. some time? Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Steam. Oh no. Oh god no. Reviews. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, oh, the online yeah. video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Uh -oh. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> okay, I'm trying to be Whoa! Funny. Bro! I'm trying to make Holy crap, you want to kill me? Out. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web Ooh. of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. It was actually, whoa, you actually added open world, kinda. Look at this. Do you know how many games there are where this is not possible? So at least, <laughs> at least that's pretty impressive. Yo man, this is a dump. Was this caution? Nine to six is high? 
or 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 does it, does it have to do with the reviews or is that just an actual thing oh that's a that's a, a re reverse okay let's see what this one says while the idea for the game is good and for someone who prefers oh. non-linear games this preachiness gets annoying fast preachy stanley i'm not preachy am i mm. you can tell me if i'm preachy honestly you can oh goodness this is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. Really? <laughs> but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Look, man. Is is part of the experience? Is genuine criticism? Is okay. Look there, another another good criticism right there. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. <laughs> it happened I wish this time. there was a skip button. A skip button. Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. What the Only hell is this? positive Ooh, reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. Where's the I'd do anything <laughs> for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Amazing. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second mine. <gasps> oh. oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, oh, I but can't... it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flurry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's oh, really only okay. so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? Stanley, Stanley, Calm down. Stanley, please don't push the button okay, again. It's okay, been 12 okay. hours. I'm sitting here. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're okay, really, Rousseau. truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way. Oh, Stanley, you're back. Wow, that's you're sad, back. Actually. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to I mean, I do gotta with. check how long, and but I don't wanna <laughs> check how long it actually how talks. it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. It's the same one. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Yeah. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. Case in That's point. What We're killing the narrator. Oh, now. hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Mm -mm. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of music. No, even the clock doesn't work anymore. I felt nothing at all but regret. For the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. <laughs> I didn't... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Can you skip what cannot be skipped? You can! Oh, dude, the battery? Okay, well, that's terrible. Please get me out of here, man. Please. Please, my tinnitus. <laughs> okay. Ooh. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. Oh, Where, okay, are, the man, Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. 
It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic oh, little no. thumbs down. Oh no, we're bre breaking it. Please. Here. Hello, hello, hello. I heard a little, little droplet. The end is never the end. Yeah, is never the end. Yeah. Is never the this end. This is what you went to. What happens, man? End is never the end. 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 Is it looping or is this actually recorded? I gotta check. Just a little bit more. Is never the end. 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 Is never the End is never it the does end. sometimes get get get, get 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 slower, but I'm pretty sure. We got okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Oh my god! Oh no, the leaves are dying. I mean, obviously. Yeah, what happened? What did you do? Why, why, why? Oh, you can't even go here anymore. It's just car. It's just it's destroyed. Oh, it's nice now, though. Light outside. Can we? Can we? Oh, I thought I... Oh, I'll do it for a second. I thought I was able to jump. But you can just go up here. Yo, this is actually kind of nice, man. Yo, please. Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me climb the pipes. Help. I'm stuck. Okay. What's happening? Dinosaurs? No! What happened? Wait, am I, am I, am I in, am I, oh no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm half expecting this is limbo. But it does change. Or does... Bro, we're in a mental facility. What happened? Dude, actual freedom? Okay, okay, maybe. But I, I gotta, I gotta, does it work? It doesn't work. We skipped so, we skipped so hard, we can never skip again. But we can fly off, man. In the desert. Yo, bro. <laughs> I don't trust it, but maybe I should trust it. This is it, man. Oh, it stopped. Actually, maybe, maybe it really, it really is it. Don't you dare do what you what what I. Dude, uh, dude, I, I'm, I'm mad, man. I wanna this walking. Look, look, look. You can make the Stanley parable. But you can't, like, once you get to the walking simulator, you can't just reset it before I get to do my walking, man. That's just... Are you here? Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Is that... I... Is there new content? New content? New new content? Oh, good. You notice my sign. I sure yes, hope I have so. something very exciting to show you. Here? Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, a door. Maybe? No, a loading screen. Hmm. We are back here. At least the elevators are higher budget now. They you see, Stanley. No, they're not. I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe Bro. version has turned out to be. 
The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one Hello? step even further. Super Which deluxe? is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Amazing, dude. The end is never the end again for twos? Okay, yes, that's kind of clever. See, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Yes, sure Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Calling it it's not Stanley even Parable anything two anymore, though. It's just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. One, two. I mean, hey. In my Stanley Parable, <laughs> okay, look. I apologize, but Stanley Parable 2 does kind of sound <laughs> uh, a bit cooler. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. It's be the same but thing, let's man. Let's take a look That's at some of the features I've been developing Eww. for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. No, 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 no squeezing, no, no escaping. Is there escaping? Sequels are good. Yo, Portal 2, Half-Life 2, B Batman Asylum 2, the, or Doom 2, uh, Dark Souls 2, okay. Arkham Asylum 2, my favorite. Oh, we, we, we gotta check. No, man. You. Oh, dude, it's two Stanleys. That's what I said, man. You should have done... Dude, the Stanley Parable co-op would have been the best. New features? Give me. So if it doesn't have co-op, why even make a game? Give me co-op first, first at, on on the top, first on the list. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> this is I hate this. It's very cursed. Here we are. Why is it? Go on. Are you looking? Try out some of the new features. Oh, you're spinning. The button that says the name of the player. Yeah. No, dude. Hear your name in the game. Dude, everyone does that. Everyone does that. Okay, wait, For the I'm Stanley lying. Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? It's gonna be... What is that? Here yours today. It's either gonna be just insert player name or it's gonna be Stanley. Come on. Gimme. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will it say even your work. name, whatever name that is. Here, Twice. let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath. I'm already rolling a Stanley, my dude. Forget whoever you are and this is out of become character. a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possible. Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. Skip button, if you dude. Don't skip role button. Play as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. Okay. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. 
<laughs> All right, fine, whatever. Hell it's yeah. just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out Jimmy? of here. Jimmy? Is it Jimmy? I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front yes. of a different feature that I worked very hard on? Okay, man, that's what, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. They Jim. would appreciate what I've created button here. Button says Jim. Maybe, maybe, what the hell? Oh, oh my god, what the hell are you? Maybe a gym membership. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure Where that out I? later. That's awful, man. What is this monstrosity, man? What is this? Infinite hole, free achievement, settings, world champion, merch, okay. Reassurance bucket. Jesus Christ, man. Give me the achievement. What is this? Is this Stanley? The Stanley Parable 2? Beep, beep, beep. No? Free achievement. Can you just pull the lever. Receive your new achievements. Now, here's something special. Yeah, yeah, you I remember bet, that I bet. broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when lever. you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will no, exist. No, 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 no. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. What is this? Achieve? Maybe... Where is that? Mm, please pull me. Please pull, pull, pull me, please. Pull, pull, pull. What? Ah, yes. I, I'm sorry, man. I already. You know what? Yeah. Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. Let's reset it's, it. Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece. Oh, dude, I am. I really am humiliated. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm. I'm ruining everything. That's good stuff. Got the achievement. What is this? This is suspicious. Is this YouTube, man? No, it looks like. Please, no screenshots. Oh, it's just two. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think Concept that art? in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided oh. on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Stepneys? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get Well Someday it mm. is. Oh man, I'm sorry, Stepneys. That's sad. I thought it said Get Well Sunday. Get Well Someday. Can we move? Yeah. Oh, now we're here. Look. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. What is this? You can't ignore this. The end... Dude, I don't even know. Does this exist? Stanley Parable? The end is never the end. Best new feature and two... Okay. Two door. I mean, two doors, two kind of, kind of clever there. Infinite hole. Essentially portal. We're gonna see if that works. For once. Okay, that's some explanations. The opening. It just keeps going. But it's not a hole, though. It literally does the, 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 You're not gonna... Oh, my God. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never Ooh. been done before in a video <laughs> it's game. Okay, it's actually... This I is, in fact, a like that. hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can a fall until right the there. end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it's, it, it kind of works there, at least. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop teleport? back up to the top, and we can continue onward. 
Hmm. Oh. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Now we got a humi- yeah, 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 yeah. Sooner rather than later spectrum of things. We gotta humiliate. That's that's the new job right there. That's the new goal. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. <laughs> wait, is it wait, wait, wait. Infinite? Are, Are we talking about well, that's the sort game? It depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well... Bro, Stanley is powerful. How does that not hole. kill me, but the you other one does? not Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, Yo, it's a uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. That's Why correct, right there. we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top button. of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Okay, okay. Great. Now, I'm oh! very excited. Oh, for <laughs> Okay, okay, you okay. You see, I was right. The problem is you. True. The problem is that you like holes too much. I'm sorry. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Ooh. It's oh. gone even shorter, yeah. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come the and join me up button. above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about. I mean, we I gotta know this even shorter for a lifetime. Gosh. How could I have guessed? Is the broom back closet the all over again? If this starts Ooh. to become a thing where Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. Oh, the oh. shame of my lie has come oh. to haunt. How is this still appealing oh. to you? No, I can't jump. I know you're obsessed with I holes, wanted to. but no. at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, Help. <laughs> who am I to judge? He's too you just for do me. whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're the ready to move button. on. It doesn't work. Help. Hmm. Yeah. I, the, um, I wanted to ignore it that time, but not oh, working. No. You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Still nothing. Well, I suppose. I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Help. I'm out. <sighs> Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away oh from the hole, oh. and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. Goodbye. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. I mean, I, I kind of wanted that, but I, I, I don't think... Actually, what if... Hmm, I wonder. Ah, uh, no. Help. Please? Stanley, I think we're screwed. Dude, 
it's the end of Stanley for real this time. Is wow, what the hell? It's just darkness. It's so sad. Really? Probably is like a Yo, you are sort of high quality, but also not. Okay, we're, go we're going with this, with this, but I can't move. Perception? What? I'm confused. It's the mute, dude, it's too loud. Please. Probably <laughs> no, no, no. Yo, that's yes, reality. Bro, now, okay, wait, we're 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 we're, we're, we're creating horror game. Welcome to horror game, Stanley. What the hell, man? It's actually very cursed, Stanley Parable horror game. Change yourself? Yes. Okay, now we gotta see. No, I'm sorry. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yes, wait. Dude. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's okay. Wait, the, 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 is that reverse? Oh, Stanley! Stanley! No, man, I had. Look, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. Oh God, I'm getting dizzy with I'll that. be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip? No. Please. No more horror game. Hello. Here we are. Go on. Do try out some of the new features. Are we? Was that? Oh, the bucket office decorations, the infinite hole, the mostly now. Okay, we're still humiliating. What is this? A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Bro, he's Stanley, gone. Anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind. He's and your dead. Heart. It's true. As long he's as you hold here. On to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest. It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Ooh, you okay? <laughs> you look at the Can physics. you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Oh, the door's open. Okay, can I get... get please? <laughs> can I get rid of it? It's a little creepy. Why is it so... Scuffed, man. 
Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. I mean, we kind of... We kind of done. What I gotta check though... Is double? Double possibility. Does the button still work? Does the button say bucket? Probably not. Oh man. Ah, collectibles. Ooh. Now it's a real video okay, game. Okay, that's nice. In actually. the Stanley Parable um, 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle up. the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. You got... Bro, you did lose... Is the hand coming out of your chest? You okay? It's just... It's just... It's just messed up. I'm sorry, my friend. Why? This is awful, man. Who... <laughs> I mean, it's actually kind of cool, but it, it's not... It just doesn't look right. Can I put you in the bucket? <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Oh! Is it? God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game Not and then true. they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Jump circle. Do it's not even... You are here? Five? Where's five? This map. Jump circle. Free achievement. Button. Merch. Settings world champion. Stanley... Yeah, bucket. Office decorations. We got the epi... Yeah, yeah. Collectibles. Okay, we only got settings where... I should check probably. Was it... Um... Fire. Wait a minute. Is right here. You crazy? Settings world champion. Bro, it's, it's, it's hidden, man. Yes. Really? Am I... I am losing my mind. I think we done. I think we done. Time for the exit. Yo. Alright. Have you seen everything you wanted no, to? No, I didn't get Ready the settings. Ready to move on now? Uh, okay. Uh... Hello. No screenshots. Can't go. So Stanley, Dude, what it's kind of nice though. I like do you something like, like this. all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly so these the features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Bro, none of them work. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh my god. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go, version two. Just give me a stare. <sighs> okay. Who am I kidding, Stanley? You're two holes, this okay, This isn't a nice. coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. Dude, the achievement, please. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they wouldn't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, Whoa. well, insert a few of my new features into it. Hello, Pissly, it's me, it doesn't make with sense. With respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. 
<laughs> right there, right, man. Perfect. Right there. Go ahead. Take a look. Or no, okay, maybe... You... Uh, I, uh, but I didn't... Yeah, why is it a horror game again? Oh. Okay. Wait, actually or like, not actually? I mean, this is really nice. This, 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 this is pretty cool, I like the red lighting. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Wait, really? Stanley worked for a company. Uh, oh. Uh. Really? Oh, wait. Really? Like, really? Really? Oh. Um. His co-workers were gone. Wait. I'm guessing we gotta go to, uh, you know All what? All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, what okay. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps yeah, well, he had someday, simply missed someday. the memo. But where's the hole? Stanley picked up the bucket. Okay. Stanley Wait, where's touched the... the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. No, I want This I was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, Incredible. telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had oh. the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Left door, left door? Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Okay, I mean, we never were here. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. And now we're back. What if you go back, back? Aw, oh, man. Okay. I don't know if we're... <laughs> I don't know if we're in... Because we got this. Is a little creepy. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay, actually, I, d I don't even know. We never, we, we didn't, we, 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 we didn't go here. Are you kidding me? You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I feel like we've corrupted the game, man. <laughs> we, we've... That's still the... Oh, now we're actually red, though. In the red. Yo. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? Um, his boss would oh, think he oh. was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe... He thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Mm -hmm. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone <laughs> okay, else's okay, bucket, music. perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone oh, truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one oh bucket after God. the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find what does he say? me. Who died? He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. From inside of him. The real bucket. <laughs> yeah, why the real? Come on, man. All along. It was incredibly painful. 
Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Oof. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. I remember this part. You, you okay? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. No bucket. This man yeah. had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass, and she backflipped all the way to work. Based? I hate Mondays. Okay, okay. First thing is still red. You don't, you don't. Oh my god, dude. Wait, I, I mean, I gotta do one thing. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, <sighs> up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. And the bucket made can, a can sassy really comment anim about that. taking down the system. We go this time off. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Mm -hmm. Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss oh, the, the kind of oh, wait, we were playing. To live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Weird. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, to what? Wait. Oh, what oh, oh, I thought... Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Well, just leave it behind. The facility itself <laughs> no offense, recognized bucket. the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket will go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. If you have a as bucket. long as I have yeah. my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. <laughs> uh, what? And here we are. Okay, so uh, I see, All I this see you. We got gone. this again. What could it mean? And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No. Said the bucket. Ooh, what? <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. True. The true, cargo true. lift. Yes. Go there. Go Good. Said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced still that the be bucket rebel. had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little too late, a little, little already here. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets right. past this point. Stanley, we did see that. How could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? Hey. I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior Rude. up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Okay, so... Help. It is a little... Help. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. Now then, what the I'm hell? going to Dude, run you this looks like some a, test scenarios, you know, and you'll this like tell a, you me know, whether what? or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not I can't leave. a bucket. Okay, let's begin. I, I can. Item one. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. Oh. It is a hologram of a bucket. Not an actual Man, I'm bucket. smart. Item two. Is this a bucket? Yes. No. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Doesn't make sense. Item three. Is this a bucket? Mm. Yeah. Correct. This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? Uh, sure. What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Thank you. Let's just move on to the next one. Uh, Is this a bucket? Uh, yeah. Correct. Bro. This is a bucket. Amazing. Item six. Is this a bucket? We were turning reality upside down. Hell Trick yeah. question. Both. Uh, gotcha. Uh, uh, Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Oh, Let's it's see. a bucket. It should be around here somewhere. Oof. Okay. You and I both know there isn't anything here. Everything in the and nothing is a bucket. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yes. yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Yes. We're killing you know the bucket. I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. Oh. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear oh. our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going oh. to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, here we go. Oh, dude, I'm saving. I'm saving the game, resetting. No more collectibles. What happened? Is everything gone? Because everything is a bucket. Wait, yeah. Was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. 
Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket, but if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. And it's gonna be... The reset. Okay, okay, okay. All of his co-workers were okay. gone. What could it mean? And if you don't get the bucket? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting Is your room. Back in and Stanley here? knew it okay. perfectly well. And okay, that was the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. So what did I think? I do think that the best part was the beginning. Like the entire part with the narrator, where you, you don't even really play yet, and, and the game just kind of messes with your expectations, messes with you, asks you things, lets you do uh, different sliders. I think that was really cool. That was a perfect introduction to, to the new Stanley. But maybe... Maybe it did raise like the expectations a little too high because it did make me expect a completely different game. I thought it was going to transform the entire idea of the Stanley Parable. You're just going to get something completely different, completely surprising. Because I gotta say, I think the magic of, of a game like this is your first playthrough where you have no idea what's going to happen. Ev everything like the, the, the game seems infinite, the game seems huge. Because once you know how it works, it, it really is. I mean, in the end, it is you're walking. You're listening, and then you choose every now and then you choose between A or B. But I don't know. I don't know if the Ultra Deluxe Edition here, or the Ultra Deluxe thing, is something for me. I am glad that so many people are having a great time. Like, obviously, I, you know, you look at the reviews, it's overwhelmingly positive. I respect that. I think that's awesome. But for me personally, you know, Stanley Parable was just a small, simple, silly little game. That was it. Nothing more, nothing less. If I, of course, missed something huge, maybe I, I stopped literally one minute before the big, the big reveal. It changes everything, of course. But if not, you know, <laughs> you know, we got the bucket. Okay, we got the bucket. But hey, if you don't know the Stanley Parable, and if you don't mind the, the, the lots of walking, I definitely do recommend it. This video was just a part of the stuff that you can find both in the original game, and I guess in, in the bucket expansion here for sure. Like, I, I assume you're gonna have, you're just gonna be able to do everything for the first time if you haven't played before, and then you're gonna be able to do everything with the bucket, I have no idea. Otherwise, you know, that's all I pretty much have to say here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video, and I hope you liked this look into the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. And until next time, take care.